Hello everyone, welcome to Study Automation. In this video, we will see how to perform data driven testing using Postman. So basically our use case is suppose if we have add user. In this add user we have different you know we want different inputs for each test case and we want it to perform multiple times right so so let's say I can I, can, I wanted to test with 10 different inputs and uh, so that that is basically data driven we don't want to hard code anything here so for that what you have to do we have we can use a feature inside collection if you will see we have run and here you will see we have data file right so you just need to upload a data file here so first we need to create that and to create a data file I'll just use notepad and in notepad I'll let me just unsave it yeah in notepad what we have to do suppose if you want data right multiple times for add user so we need to have first let's go in add user and remove these hard-coded value right so before that I'll just copy this this is first request I'll go here and write array right so we can just create array and inside this array I'll paste it so this is request 1 request 2 request 3 so in first request I want data should be 1 leader 1 here I'll say 2 you can just put any value that you want 3 and then 3 so I just wanted to send 3 requests and then so after you know doing that just save it with let's say data.json or any any file any name that you want right data requests dot json save it in any folder then what you have to do you have to change this as well so if you are not sure what exactly the value here I need to put so first thing is if you see the key right this is name and job is the key so you need to write the exactly same you know keyword name and job here but still if you are unsure then what you can do just click on collection click on run and then go to data select file so I'll just choose this file and after that you just need to click preview so here you will see iteration 1 we have these all information then you have key is name and then job so before going to execute anything just go to add user again and delete this and instead of this you can put in double code double curly braces name this is the key and then in double curly braces you can put job right this should name and job should match exactly with this one correct then only it will work after that save it that means I want this thing dynamic save this request go to collection again click on runs choose file that means file is already selected by default it will show three iteration because we have total three records three data available so it will show three iteration and in each iteration it will run all these test cases if you want to run but you know few test cases only you can do that by unselecting it but by default it will run all then click on persist so that you can see the request response I'll just click run request now if you will see total 42 test cases right passed and 3 failed that means whatever test case right in iteration 1 we can see iteration 1 for all these requests so I'll just click on post request and see the request body so in request body I can see Morpheus 1 leader 1 if I will go to iteration 2 iteration 2 and uh, add user I'll see 2 right leader 2 similarly I can click on iteration 3 and in iteration 3 we can see different user ID I mean different value 
but for other test cases it will be same since we have not we are not updating anything but this is how you can check this now since we have updated here right we have used data driven things question is how we can run this from command prompt so first thing is i'll just export it again export so same collection i'll just replace it and then i will go again here and if i will run now new man with html right the only problem is we are not supplying here our uh, json data right so if you will not supply then it will not work and to supply that json data let me check here So E is used for environment file, G is global path for the global variable, D is used for data file, right? Hyphen D, or you can just say data. So for that, uh, environment file means if you want to run your Postman, right? You can see right now no environment is selected. If you want to add your environment for only for your test case, you can do that. But right now what I want, I want to run my collection with the data. So I'll write hyphen D and then I will pass here data dot request hyphen D data request JSON file. And these all things available in this folder only postman collections. So if we will go in postman collection, we have collection and then another one is data request. So I am adding that one only and then HTML report click enter. So after a few seconds, right, you will go again to your postman and then you can see here now the latest one is generated here. Just double click on it and okay, is this the one or the below one? Below one, yeah. So we can see total we have three iteration, 45 assertions, three field. All the information is available here. We can just go and see these things. So if I will just click on requests and then if I'll go to the add user. So in add user request, I can check the request and response. Yeah, so in this request body, we can see one Similarly, if I will go to iteration 2, iteration 2 and then add user, I will see different input, right, leader 2 and so on, we can check. So this is, this Newman tool is very, you know, nice tool. We can check all together, right, what, what all things failing, passing and, and, and everything will be shown here. So I hope that you are able to get this data driven things as well. We can use CSV file as we can see here, JSON, similar thing we can use CSV file and then you can run it. The only thing is you need to select here instead of, you know, data file, right? Once you choose, you have to, although it will automatically select, but if anything different, right? You can choose from here, text or CSV file and then click on preview to see it. This way you can run your test case, you know, data driven test case. And uh, then other things are also we can do in our pre-request, pre right? We can write here complete Node.js code, right? Whatever thing you wanted to test and you wanted to update for particular request, you can do that in pre-request that we will see in coming videos. Thank you so much for watching this.